Hi hey guys, long time no see. I hope you're doing all well. I'm back in Thailand and yeah, happy about this, of course. So, my channel, we are talking about DIY energy. Uh, what happened in the last five months while well, I was not here? Well, of course, grid tie solar works perfectly as always. Off grid solar hybrid also perfectly as expected the only thing making troubles as always and this time it was quite almost a worst case scenario the ac powerwall the sun 2000 and 1000 inverter saga is continuing without further delay let's take a look what happened with the storage system which I made. Don't get me wrong, the storage system which I built worked actually flawlessly. The only thing uh, which is making troubles is behind these doors here. It's all about my blue inverters. Behind the first door, my Sun 2000 on phase one. You might remember from last year, this one got the repair and it was running on 500 watts output. But unfortunately, I was just three weeks out of the door. I already noticed there was a problem. So I asked my wife to check the main breaker and it blew again the main breaker. That's a definite sign that it blew again. The power transistors and the AC side. And the AC side is again shortened. One inverter down, it's actually not as bad as it sounds because two inverters are enough to deplete the battery during the night time. But two weeks later, after the first one blew out, the second problem appeared and it is my other Sun 2000. This inverter is actually the oldest here in the system. So more than three years old and never made problems and it also stopped working i asked my wife again to check the breaker but it did not blow the breaker out so the inverter is not working means ac is down inside the inverter there are fuses on the ac side and on the dc side so it might have blown out the fuse i have no idea what happened to this inverter uh, we will go and check this out in the other video. So the only remaining uh, running inverter for the last three months was my tiny fellow 1000 watt inverter here. It did very well. The only problem on that phase, there's not too much demand during night time. So it only had the chance to discharge about two to three kilowatt hours every night and that is about 10 kilowatt hours short of what I can do. So that's quite a bummer. Yeah, so what could have happened with this guy if he do not find a blown out fuse inside then because this inverter is running on AC there could be also a problem with the internal power supply. I hit this already on a Sun 1000 about two years ago and this was easy to fix. Two failed Sun 2000 inverters I have ordered because the chances on a full repair on the AC side are quite low as you already know. I have ordered some spare boards. I will show them to you in a moment. I want to use the spare board on this one and for this one I'm really hoping that there will be an easy fix. So let's see what we can do. You know, here on the other side of the wall, there's my main distribution board. And the last time before I left, we have installed something here. And that was a surge counter. So let's check out if these uh, AC side failures again had something to do with the external surges. So let's see what the counter says. You still have the time to take a guess. Me too. Mm. 
zero. So yeah, assuming that, as I called it, uh, this gimmick is working, it did not notice a search going through those uh, search protection devices. But they will also uh, still intact, so looks like uh, there was no, no issue with these two. Having two Sun 2000s down and knowing what the chances of repair are, I decided to go for a spare board, which you can get also from AliExpress. So you don't need to spend the full money for a whole uh, new inverter. And this actually was a quite a good deal. It was just a kind of sale at that time. And uh, it only has cost me about 160 bucks, including shipping. And this baby is also a complete set with a control board as well. So very, very a good price. You can save uh, more than a hundred dollars by going just for the boards. And interestingly, you know, these uh, are really very new build boards here. The recent uh, additions, of course, I ordered uh, in August and uh, this was just built in June. And when you look here at the AC input, you already probably notice something. If you notice inverters, this one here, this addition, none of my inverters has this. But I already checked, it's just two relays. This here is for the mechanical uh, anti-eye landing protection of inverters, which the inverter did not have. Before, this inverter only had a digital anti-eye landing, so here by the tie resistors here. But what I also see here, oh my god. Do you remember these transistors from the other uh, boards? We only had uh, such a size here and we now do have IGBTs here. Bigger size ones and yeah, I will check the data sheet and I'm guessing that it is a much more powerful. So you see, uh, the newer boards, they have some revision and uh, I hope that they understood the problems which these inverters had and have fixed the issues with these inverters with this. And another thing we're going to take a look is in this box. And yeah, you see, I have ordered now my fuses and fuse holders for the power wall. You know how dissatisfied I am with uh, the breakers, DC breakers, and this should solve the issues with DC current protection. So yeah, glad to be back again. So we are going to hear again from each other more frequently the next weeks and months. And yeah, so this was a little bit of preview of what will happen on my channel again. We will have several repair attempts on inverters, deal a little bit with energy storage and grounding systems. So thank you for watching this video. If you don't want to miss any of the future videos, please uh, subscribe to the channel, like and comment as always. And I see you next time. Thanks for watching.